Okay, this is uh, Fire Tiger with Green Light. I cannot get this song out of my head. Compliments of Colton, CBT guitar lesson. You wanted the the synth related stuff, the guitar. Um, delay is kind of key in here, particularly on the... Having those three echoes after it. I don't know if you have effects or not, but definitely fills it in. Um, for some reason, I wound up putting the synth parts on page three, and... Uh, and I fit it all on that page, and then the guitar is page one, or uh, page two, four, and five. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and start you on the synth-related stuff. How's that? Um, it's standard tuning for this. This this part you're gonna go uh, two D, four G, and five B. A little thicker kind of synth sound with the neck pickup. You may want to switch that. And then open two two five, starting on string five. Go back to the first one, 4th fret B, back to that A chord, and then ninth fret D, G, and B, 3rd um, finger, just bar it. So I'm going 9, 9, 9, then I'm going 9, 8, 7, then 11, 9, 10. And then bar, this is a C sharp minor, 6th string bar chord. Actually, five, but if you hit six, it's fine. Bar everything on nine, go 11A, 11D, strum everything except the high E. If you hit the high E, it's fine. 11G, back to um, 11910. Um, that's section one of the synth parts, and that starts at zero seconds, and then you'll see when it goes up to the ninth fret, that's at 10 seconds in. Oops. All right, um, section two on the synth. We're right back to the two, four, five, D, G, B. Fourth fret B to the A chord. Do that again. Two, three. Two, three, four. Ninth fret. Nine, eight, seven. Eleven, nine, ten. So familiar chords, right? The sixth string C sharp minor. And then this hammer pull, 8, 9, 8 on the G. Pick the 8, hammer 9, pull 8, and then 11, 9, 10. So coming off the big chord there, we got. Okay. That is two times, second time, no star. In other words, just eliminate the hammer pull and just go to the 11, 9, 10. Section 3 on the synth. At a minute in, we've got on the D string working down, 6, 4, 7. And then seven six five again, and then seven six five five. And move that up a whole step, A to B. Okay, cool. And um, from there, um, it's repeats at 110. The next new part for synth is section 4, 240 in. Um, this is a B major. You'll go 2A, 4th fret D, G, and B. Strum those. 6, 4, 5, 4, starting from the D. 9, 8, 7, 7. No, something was wrong there. Let me try that again. 7, 6, 5, 5. And it does that again. That part is twice. And then we repeats the next new thing for synth is 330 in, section six. This is how they end it. Two, four, five, four B to the A chord. Again. So let's move over to page two, which is where the guitar starts, and this is where the delay becomes real important. Um, open E string, palm mute, down up, down up, down up, down up. That final up is the open B string, uh, everything else is string six open. Okay, so. And then I would go 
up down on the open E palm muted again, and then up on the open B, another rest, so it's, and then back to the open E, up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up, and that is done two times. And then, uh, so that comes in at zero seconds, it's right at the very beginning. You'll hear uh, open 799 from string six down, it's just a power chord, down, and on that just, or go to section one two times, which is the part we just did. Um, volume swells, now this is open E, just, uh, I don't know, you talk like you already understand volume swells, we need to get that open going. You can just like pull off to get it going, and then up the volume with your pinky or whatever finger you want. Same thing, fifth fret, but we gotta pick that. And then seven, nine, A, D, power chord, just down, up, down. That's section two right there, what I just did, the power chord. And then volume swell, nine, B. Same thing, 10th fret. Slide off. All right, section three at 110, it's that same E5 power chord. Down, up, down, you're gonna do it three times. Again. Again. And then 2D, 1G, and you're gonna um, palm mute the D string, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That final up is 1G, open, open B. Like the beginning, right? Um, and then the 2D, up, down, palm mute, and then up on the one open GB, again of that. And I can hear the high E the third time. Um, palm mute, open E, down, up, and the last one, no palm mute. That stuff might be hard to hear, but I know you have some good ears, man. So we'll see. Um, section 4 at 130, volume swell 4G. Slide to six. Be a good time for the sustainiac, wouldn't it? Twelve B. Volume swell. Slide to fourteen. Seventeen B. Volume swell. Nine B. Volume swell. Hammer to 10, volume swell 9, volume swell 10. Alright, so from there we can move over. We gotta skip page 3, right? Because that had our synth stuff. Uh, now it'll take us to page 4, section 5. Um, it's the E5 power chord again, 7 9 AD, down, up, down. And then in 2 minutes, I put this in the same section, volume swell 17B. Uh, volume swell 9B, hammer to 10. Volume swell 9. Volume swell 10. Section 6 at 210. And this is. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm tuned. Yeah, 647 DGB, 444 DGB, 765 DGB, and then 647 again, hit it again, rest to 765, 987, so that sounds like this. Repeats, uh, next new thing, second fret D, first finger, fourth fret G, fifth fret B. Now it was hard to tell whether, you know, you got that being played in there, this, they're all basically the same chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, see, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, palm muting the second fret D, and then that final up is 4G, 5B, no palm mute. Up, down. Up on the end there. So it's following the same format as the other part. Up, down, up. So you have. Right? 
Um, solo comes in, volume swell time here. We'll go back to the Sustaniac. <clears throat> so we're gonna go volume swell 9G. No, D, 9 on the G, 10B. And then the solo really kicks in here. 7 on the high E, pick, hammer 9, pull 7 on, pull off back to the 7. Open E, 4 E, slide to 7. And then 12th fret on the high E, down, up, down. So it's down, up, down, and then 11th fret twice, 9th fret twice, 7th fret, down, up, down, up. Rest, down, up, open, 7, 7, open, 7, 7, open, 7, 7, 7, slide. And then back to the 12th fret, repeat it. This time when you get to seven, go one, two, three, four, five, six, open B and E. And hit him again. Seven, nine, A, D, down, up, down. That's just back to the, the power chord part there. Um, 310, this is page five. Some more little solo related stuff. Seven, E, nine, pull off the seven, down, up on the seven. So it's pick the nine, slide to 12. 11, 9. That's that section. 315, we're going to go 16th fret on the high E, down, up, down. 14th fret, down, up, down, slide to 12. Down, up, down, slide to 11. Pick 11. Half step and release. Remember, a half step is one fret. So it's... And then, it's 318, we got this, uh, one of the faster riffs of all this. Oops. 17, 19, B, 16, E. Do that twice. And this is alternate pick. Start with the downstroke. Okay, so. 17, E, 19, B. So it's. And then on the high E, go 16, 17, 19, ascending, descending. When you get to the 16 on the end, three times, 19, E bend. Bend release, so it's power chord E5 at 3:30, down up down. Do it again, and then a full E major chord. Open two two one, open open. This song is uh, great, man. Thanks for uh, showing me a band that I have not heard yet. It's got this like mixture of like heart, Pat Benatar, just really cool 80s poppy rock stuff. All right, see you later.